Hello, my name is Michael Keneally and I'm doing a brief video on a very important topic which is the year-long transit of Jupiter through Jayesta Nakshatra at the end of the Vedic sign of Scorpio. It'll obviously affect all of us, so um, I've got like a detailed supporting blog and so do have a look at that and particularly have a look at it obviously if you have a planet in Chayesta Nakshatra. So here we go. I feel that the core message is that people with planets in Chayesta Nakshatra will be offered considerable expansion um, from the transit of Jupiter through Jayasta Nakshatra. But they also have a call to honour the demands of Lord Shani, Saturn, Lord of Karma. They cannot handle the transit of Jupiter through Jayasta Nakshatra where they have Sun, Moon, Ascendant or a planet in a glitzy, optimistic, silly way. They have to also honour the demands of Saturn. Now, like all the nakshatras, they're divided into four padas or quarters, <coughs> and Jayestra is evenly divided between Jupiter and Saturn in that rulership. So this is make or break, it's huge for people with planets in Jayestra. And the other thing I want to say is that at the end of Jayesta, in the last four degrees of Vedic Scorpio, the last four degrees of Jayesta is what's called the Gandanta zone. So the Gandanta is where a water sign, like Scorpio here, dissolves. And there's a zero point. And across the zero point you can see the first flicker of fire that is the upcoming next fire sign, water to fire. But this transition point of four degrees either side is marked by an awareness in the individual that the, the earth is not supportive. Now the closer you have your planet to the zero point the stronger it is. So if your planet is in the last degree of Scorpio or the first degree of Sagittarius you'll feel this big time and of course it can be closer still in the last minutes of the last degree. So if your moon is there mother will not be there for you. You'll feel that it's probably going to be true. And so that creates a very special destiny. And Jupiter will offer you enlargement and blessing as Jupiter transits Jayesta from, I think it's Mar end March to end April, by the way. It actually goes through into the first degree of Vedic Sagittarius, but then drops back into Jayesta. So Jupiter is in Jayesta until the 5th of November 2019, a long time. So I've mentioned the, the fact that Jayestas must honour the enlargement and inspiration that Jupiter is offering them, but the demands for hard work and discipline and reality that Saturn demands of them. And I've mentioned that there's a very special twist to the tail, a sting in the tail at the end of Jayesta. And in fact, the final degree of Jayesta is called Abukta Mula, and the saying is that if a woman has her moon in a book to Mula, traditionally the view is that so her mother was so not there for her, it would not be advisable for her to marry or have children. And that's a big thing to say. But of course these destinies exist and Vedic astrology using the sidereal zodiac describes them and declares them so amazingly accurately. So, um, there is a long blog attached all about Jupiter transiting through Jayesta. Do see that and I won't duplicate it here. So. I just draw on it very briefly. So, uh, Jayestas, for example, their Ayurvedic dosha is Vata or air, their Gana is 
Rakshasha or demon. Their quality is sharp and their Shakti is heroic. Uh, and they're usually quite proud and like to have a position of superiority for good or ill. The ruling deity is Indra and the name means the eldest and the power animal is the stag. Uh, and their motivation is Arta. Um, and so they're very conscious of seniority and they can, you know, ride roughshod over people for that and certainly they have a reputation for, you know, the, the possibility of being a somewhat hypocritical. Um, you know, they can, but, but it actually all, you know, the difficulties the sign has can create low self-esteem. And so the, the sign is noted for poverty or fall from grace and looking good. You know, what, what Jesus said about the whited sepulchre can apply to the worst of them. Uh, but they're very keen on their friends, etc., etc. And they can tend to quite profound psychic occult powers, etc. So look at the blog for, the, for, for all this. Um, what I do want to do is read from a most wonderful book on the nakshatras by the late Bepin Bihari. I do a nakshatras course and I encourage people to look at two books of Bepin Bihari's in addition to all my course videos and course material on each nakshatra. Uh, it's called The Revelations of the Zodiacal Signs and Lunar Mansions. And um, he really is profound and mystical the way he sums up the nakshatras. So I'll read a little bit from him before I end this video. Chayesta represents the last struggle between light and darkness, wisdom and illusion, freedom and bondage. The four quarters of the asterism are owned by Jupiter and Saturn. Jupiter owns the first and fourth. Saturn controls the minerals. The Enlightenment and the Seer Wheel attained during Vishaka Nakshatra, the Nakshatra before, and the harmonization of the soul with cosmic laws under Anuradha, the one between Vishaka and Jayasta qualifies the aspirants to invoke Brihaspati Jupiter and seek his guidance for fulfilments of the objectives for which he makes sacrifices and obeisance. Brihaspati is primarily a priest who helps the sacrifice to reach the desired God or face of the divine and bring back the benedictions to the sacrificer. It alludes to the individual's determination to raise his subconscience to superconscience and partake of the soma juice, the divine light resulting from the obeisance. I mean, that is utterly profound. And isn't it such a key to what is offered to Jayesters, to anyone with a planet in Jayesta, as Jupiter makes this long, long transit through Jayesta in 2019? So get in touch with me for a reading through my starwheelastrology.com website or enroll on one of my courses, mastervedicastrology.com, which also has two very wonderful Western psychodynamic and evolutionary astrology courses as well. So I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.